Back row of Mr. The World. I'm Mr. Mockley coming at you live and direct. Haven't been dropping much. Um, battling diabetes. Uh, got type 2. Uh, very important, ladies and gentlemen. Take care of your health. Read the stuff you're eating. Make sure you are not stuffing sugars and all these carbs down your throat, man. Because energy drinks, especially watch your energy drinks and energy drink intake. Uh, very important. Take care of your health, but read what you're eating. Read what you're eating. So really, I'm um, having to scale back, redo some things in life, diet a little bit more, and just, you know, take care of myself a little bit better. So, a lot has went down. I think the last couple of things we talked about were a couple of sacrifices out there to keep building up this energy. Like we're going to war, so they have to keep building up the war energy as we talked about. And also, uh, we talked about um, the Central Park Five, uh, the, symbol, the symbolism behind Central Park Five, and all these <clears throat> narrative of balance and how African Americans now are the balance. Remember, you talk about the Force in Star Wars, how they talk about the balance in the Force. Well, they see us as the balance. So we are the balance. The balance to life is the energy that we have. Remember, the African has always been. The, the black has always been there. The dark has always been there. So there's always been this balance. So a lot of focus on us and the balance and the time of us rising again is, is, is amongst us in a way. So preparing ourselves mentally and people preparing themselves mentally for the time and rebirth for the African. But uh, talking a lot about sports with people, uh, still people think that sports is not rigged. I don't understand why we see with even with the U.S. women's soccer team, you know, the all stays and rigged. Talk about the time of woman and women stand up, and you know, just just this whole push in America, the the masculine female, which makes no sense to me. And we'll see a lot of that in the presidential campaign, the masculine female. We got the masculine female mayor in Chicago. You probably, possibly, that, that's your, your, your front runner right now, Elizabeth Warren. But Camilla Harris is also there. So I really want to ping in on Camilla Harris because of everything that's going on in California. Remember, we were talking about California, putting out warnings to people. And I'm going to put out an 811 warning. I just want you to remember, 811, be warned. Anybody eat? In San Francisco, in that Oakland area on 811, be warned. I, I, I would prefer that anybody I know that listen to my podcast, you know, inform their family just to be on the watch for that day. Anything, like I say, anything suspicious around that time, you know, if you got to get out of town, get the fuck out of town. But I'm, I'm very, you know, I'm very worried about that day. A lot of stuff is going on, and now we see these earthquakes hitting California. So I want everybody to date back the last great big earthquake in San Francisco but I don't think the earthquake is going to hit San Francisco I don't and I'm going to tell you why because if the earthquake was going to hit San Francisco they never would have moved that new stadium to San Francisco I think that earthquake is going to hit Oakland I think that earthquake is targeted towards the people of Oakland and it continues this energy that we've been talking about a mass sacrifice of African Americans inside of a predominantly African-American city, and then we have Camilla Harris. So watch this whole political landscape if something happens in Oakland over the next couple of months and how Camilla Harris might slowly be placed in the forefront. And a lot of times the best way to get someone the recognition that they need is through disaster, especially if they respond a certain way to disaster. Remember, um, Bush and, I, and Bush and Katrina really took a bashing around the time of Katrina. So you say you have a disaster that takes place and you just got so having to have um, Donald Trump in this position who they always slate, say, slate to say the stupidest things when something takes place and it involves African Americans and we always got this, this racial thing. The tipping point. The tipping point. Remember I talked about San Francisco they got the, the movie coming out, The Last Black Man in San Francisco. We talk about the OA in the house where the portal was, where the brother went through the portal. Everything is pointing towards this place and this event and opening up this massive portal in San Francisco where everything, in, in the Bay Area, where everything I think is about to kick off. Everything is going to kick off 
based upon things that happen in that area. Remember the Fruitfield Station, everything in that area when it comes to race, the Black Panthers in Oakland, everything when it comes to race generates a portal big enough to start an event. And that's what this is all about. This is all about events. This is all about creating events and how the elite want to create an event. And they need to open up this portal, this, this opening to create this event. And this would be the opening they need. So I'm very concerned about my brothers in the Bay Area. I got fraternity brothers in the Bay Area. I got all sorts of you know, people I love in the Bay Area. I just, just be on your P's and Q's. I don't know how to say something without sounding crazy, but I'm not crazy. I'm just telling you to beware of the enemy that you're going up against because they're willing to do anything. You got to remember, these people believe this. This is scripture. They believe this. They understand this. And the problem is, is that, you know, you know, listen to the, the things like, um, you know, Brother Yahi says sometimes and other people say, we don't believe it. That's the problem. We've forgotten. We've forgotten our true nature, the nature that is inside of the skin. And, you know, the time of war is coming and is almost upon us. And we have to be mentally prepared for whatever happens. And especially during a time of war yet, because it's not going to be regular warfare. This war is going to come on the shores of America. It's not going to be you know, your average war. You just watch it on TV and it doesn't affect you. Everything will be affected. Nothing will be the same following this. And I know for some people that's scary, but life is evolution and change. But how you position yourself in times of change is always the measure of how you will make out and how your future is going to be. So prepare, mentally prepare, but this is script and scripture. We see it already how tides are turning in sports. That's the tides of the world. Now you got, you know, LA, the balance coming up. LA, there will be a balance in New York. It's going to be, there's going to be a big move in New York. The Nets have a player, but the Knicks are going to get somebody too. It's going to, it's going to be a balance. Everything's going to balance itself out. So this is about balance, but the only way to have balance sometimes is through war. And that's what the elite believe, that they have to have war in order to get this balance that they're looking for. And the war is focused towards African Americans. That's what it's all about. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about, getting that energy, because they need that energy to be able to do what they, they, they do what they want to do. They got to get that negative energy going. So be on, be on the lookout for 8-11. 9-11, we got a lot of dates coming up still in this year as we get ready for this presidential election and also be on the lookout for Camilla Harris making a move based upon what's hap what happens in the Bay Area. Mr. Mockley, peace and air